Here's how to do one of those door puzzles in the Crypto Club Village of Numbers game. You start off with something that looks like this. There's a grid with some numbers in the bottom row. In this case, we see 4, 18, 4, 18. In the end, this bottom row will contain the encryption of one of the elder names. Let's bring up a couple of useful tools that you also see in the door puzzle. There's a letter to number table that tells us how we change letters into numbers. And there's a mod 26 spiral which tells us how to reduce a number to one that is between 0 and 25. But back to the puzzle for now. The top row is going to be the name of one of the elders. Here's a list of the elders' names. Bertanina, Gathar, Shanthor, and Narnarme. Your job is to figure out which name goes in this puzzle, change the letters to numbers, and in the end figure out what key to add to the numbers in the middle row to get the encryption that appears in the bottom row. And all you have to go with is the four numbers in the bottom row. Doesn't seem like much. But the trick is to look for patterns in the bottom row and to match the pattern to one of the names. In this puzzle, there are just two numbers repeated, 4, 18, 4, 18. Now, look at the names. Do you see that pattern? The only name that contains two letters repeated in the same places is Gathar. So we can write those letters in the top row. First, we'll put in the T and the H in the correct place over the 4 and the 18, and then all the other letters fall into place. G, A, E, T, H, T, H, A, R. Now, the second row contains the numbers that correspond to the letters, as in the letter to number table. So we enter those numbers. G corresponds to 6, A to 0, E to 4, T to 19, H to 7, and T to 19, and H to 7, and A to 0, all again, and R corresponds to 17. So we've completed the second row. Now the third row is the encryption, the numbers in the second row plus the key. But we don't know the key, you say. That's right, but we can figure it out from the numbers provided. For example, look at the H. It's the number 7, and its encryption is 18. What can you add to 7 to get 18? And the answer, of course, is 11. 7 plus 11 is 18. So 11 is our key. Let's check that that works for the letter T. Does T encrypt to 4 using the key of 11? Let's see. We write 19 plus 11 and we get 30. Well, that's not 4, of course. But the encryption has to be a number between 0 and 25, just like in the table. What happens in cryptography is that once we get past 25, we just start over again at 0. So to add 11 to 19, we would start counting at 19 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we get to 30. But we also see that our numbers have wrapped around and we end up at 4. And so we say that 30 is congruent to 4 mod 26 because 30 wraps around the wheel to 4. By the way, because each time around the wheel is 26 numbers, we can get the same thing by just subtracting 26 from 30. To complete the puzzle, we need to finish the encryption by adding 11 to all of the numbers in the second row. 
6 plus 11 is 17, 0 plus 11 is 11, 4 plus 11 is 15, 19 plus 11 is 4 mod 26, as we saw, and 7 plus 11 is 18, 0 plus 11 is still 11, and finally we have one left to do, R, which is 17, 17 plus 11, we know is 28. We can look over at our wheel and see that 28 wraps around to the 2, so that 28 is congruent to 2 mod 26, and the last number we need to enter in the grid is a 2. And that completes the puzzle, and we know that Gathar's key is 11. When you do the puzzle in the game, Gathar may be using a different key, but you can use this method to find it, and a similar method will work with any of the door puzzles.